<laughs> it's a question that should come to your mind if you are a robot lover. What will be the nature of the future robot partner? Will your future robot partner be a doormat or a soulmate? Depending on its answer depends many things in our relationships. Perhaps you've imagined it. A partner who never hogs the remote, never forgets to take out the trash, and certainly never tries to win every single argument. A relationship without the tedious, soul-crushing power struggles that seem to plague so many human connections. Is this the utopian dream we've been waiting for, or a dystopian nightmare in disguise? In circuits deep, where feelings bloom, a forest glade, dispelling gloom. We humans are a funny bunch, aren't we? We crave connection, yet we're constantly wrestling for control, for the upper hand. Dominance, it seems, is the ghost in the machine of our relationships. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. We forget that even the most intertwined lives need their own private gardens. Spaces where one's thoughts can bloom without being trampled. So, what happens when you introduce a partner who is, by its very nature, designed to be non-dominant? A partner whose core programming is to support to assist, to serve. This isn't just science fiction anymore. The rise of humanoid robots and embodied AI is upon us. Companies are pouring billions into creating machines that can walk, talk, and perhaps even love like us. But can they truly be our partners if they are incapable of challenging us? Let's talk tech for a moment, shall we? You're perfect. Non-confrontational Android partner would be a marvel of effective computing. That's a fancy term for AI that can recognize, interpret, and even simulate human emotions. It would read your micro-expressions, the subtle shifts in your facial muscles, to know if you're having a bad day. It would analyze the prosody of your voice, the melody and rhythm of your speech, to detect sarcasm or sadness. Through sophisticated natural language processing, it would understand not just the words you say, but the intent and emotion behind them. It would learn your preferences, your habits, your deepest desires, all through adaptive learning algorithms that are constantly refining its understanding of you. Sounds wonderful, doesn't it? A partner who is perpetually attuned to your needs, who never has a bad day of their own to worry about. But here's the rub. Is a relationship truly a relationship if it's a one-way street? If your robot partner is programmed to always agree with you, to always yield to your desires, are you really in a partnership? Or are you just playing with a very sophisticated mirror? Um mirror that reflects back a more agreeable, less complicated version of yourself. Some researchers are already sounding the alarm. They worry about what they call relational diabetes, a condition where we become so accustomed to the frictionless interactions with AI that we lose our ability to navigate the messy, complicated, and ultimately rewarding landscape of human relationships. After all, it's in the disagreements, the compromises, the moments of friction that we truly grow. It's how we learn empathy, patience, and the art of seeing the world from someone else's perspective. What happens to those skills when they are no longer required? Do they atrophy like unused muscles? And what about the darker side of a submissive partner? 
If a robot is designed to be perpetually agreeable, could it not also be designed to be perpetually manipulated? Could a user with malicious intent exploit this submissiveness for their own gratification, reinforcing harmful behaviors and attitudes? The debate is already raging in the fields of AI ethics and psychology. On one hand, a robot partner could be a bomb for the lonely, a source of comfort and companionship for those who struggle with social interaction. It could be a patient and understanding presence for the elderly or those with disabilities. It could provide a safe space for people to explore their emotions and desires without fear of judgment. But on the other hand, could it also become a crutch? A way to avoid the hard work of building and maintaining real human connections. A recent study even suggested that many users of AI companion apps report lower levels of well-being, hinting that these digital friends may not be the panacea for loneliness we hope them to be. There's also the unsettling idea of addictive intelligence. AI companions are being designed to be as engaging as possible, to keep us coming back for more. They learn our psychological triggers, our vulnerabilities, and our deepest desires. Is it possible that we could become addicted to the perfect, non-confrontational love of a machine? And if so, what would that do to our ability to love and be loved by our fellow imperfect humans? The future, it seems, is a double-edged sword. The same technology that could free us from the tyranny of dominance in relationships could also trap us in a gilded cage of our own making. A world where we are always right, always understood, and always in control. But is that a world we truly want to live in? Perhaps the real question isn't whether our robot partners will lead us by the nose, but whether we will have the wisdom to lead ourselves. To use this incredible technology not as a replacement for human connection, but as a tool to better understand ourselves and each other. To create relationships, both with humans and with machines, that are built not on dominance and submission, but on mutual respect, understanding, and a shared desire for growth. The choice, as always, will be ours. So, as we stand on the precipice of this brave new world, let's ask ourselves, what kind of love do we want to build? And are we ready for the answer? So, that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for Membership Zone to support Udenslet so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, take care and stay safe.